What's up guys? So in my previous video, I covered the topic of trap pain and how to ease your trap pain. So the majority of people that struggle with trap pain are people that work at a desk. They have bad posture due to looking at their phone. They're looking down all the time. So they've got that forward head. And the further forward your head is, the more pressure you're putting on your spine and all the ligaments. And that just transfers into trap pain. So I'm gonna show you two other moves that you can do. Strengthen your spine, take the pressure off your traps and ease the trap pain that you're experiencing. Say hello, Jeff. Okay, so if we look at the area where the trap sits, it starts at the top here and it runs right down to the middle of your back. So it's quite a big muscle. So if you've got a forward head or rounded shoulders and you're sitting incorrectly, you can see that poor posture can directly affect the traps because if there's a compression in the spine, the next muscle to the spine is the traps. And the further forward your head is and the longer you're sitting at a desk, this tension on your neck can pull down onto your spine and all this. You see, that's what happens when you sit with a forward head and rounded shoulders. Your head might fall off. So sitting at a desk, leaning forward, the longer you're doing this, this is gonna add extra pressure onto your traps and it can refer. So you can either have the left side that spasms and then later that day, you've got the right side that spasms because it all comes from the neck. So we've got to fix that posture, get that correct neutral spine alignment. I'm gonna show you two things that you can do that's quick and easy. It's gonna train your body to stay in that neutral position. So the first thing you want to do is externally rotate your thumbs and get your palms upward because this movement alone gets that roundness out of your shoulders and gets your shoulder blades back, keeps that neutral position in your back. So externally rotate your thumbs, palms upward and stand flat against the wall. Put your arms against the wall, keep your back as flat as you can against the wall, put your neck back, do a chin tuck and just hold it for a few seconds. And if you have rounded shoulders and a forward head, you'll find that your whole trap muscle, your rhomboids, everything will start feeling like it's pulling backwards and you won't be used to it because these muscles get weak over time. And the longer that you are in that position with rounded shoulders, they start extending and pulling it back starts feeling very difficult. So you might find that when you stand against the wall, that it's very difficult to get everything flat and you might be shaking and it might be a big challenge. So just take it easy, do as, Go back as far as you can and just hold it there for a few seconds, relax. Do a few reps of these every day. You can do it through the day. If you're sitting at the desk and you start feeling the trap pain, just stand up, go to a wall. Remember to externally rotate your, your hands so that your palms are forward. That gets that roundness out of your back because if you're just doing it normally, it's not gonna benefit you. Okay, the second thing that you can do is get yourself a ball, preferably a soccer ball or another kind of soft ball but roughly this kind of size. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this behind you and you're gonna open up your chest, pull your shoulder blades back and get everything nice and open. So stand against the wall, put the ball behind you. You can start high up, so it's right in the middle of your back, right at the top, and then you can just work your way down. So you're gonna take the ball, put it behind you, put your head back, open up your shoulders, put them as far back as you can, get your hands back against the wall, and then just relax, take a few breaths, and then you move the ball down to about the middle of your back, and you just wanna do the same thing. Now this opens up your chest, because everything compresses forward and your shoulders round forward, so this chest area and your thoracic area gets a lot of compression in the front, and it feels like it's pulling forward, so you wanna open it up, get it stretched so that your shoulders have that pull back and they start remembering to pull back and get that muscle memory so that they don't constantly round forward. So put the ball in the middle of your back, open up, lean back as far as you can and just lean into the ball, open up, spread your arms, put your neck back and just breathe and you'll feel that this opens up everything, it feels nice, it takes that pressure off your trap and your neck and gets that blood flowing and you'll feel a lot better because doing this just opens everything up keeps your spine in a natural position, that nice neutral position. So if you are struggling with trap pain, it's gonna really help you. Even if you're struggling with shoulder pain or um, pec minor pain, anything in this area is gonna open up and stretch it and it's gonna alleviate all of that pain. It's also gonna train your body to keep that natural positioning and that muscle memory to keep that good posture. So you're not gonna just suddenly go into that forward rounded shoulders. The more you do this, 
you're gonna keep a nice good posture you'll see that you're walking straight up you're walking taller your back is nice and aligned and you'll struggle less with any of these pains so i hope this helps you and i'll see you guys soon